Good evening, everyone. It is that time. This is what I ordered Vinyl Me Please for, although I got sucked into a three-month commitment. The Queens of the Stone Age songs for the deaf. If I can figure out how to open this whole thing. Okay. And there we go. Vinyl Me Please Essentials. As you can see, translucent red, black marble vinyl. And the old little jacket it's got there. And we're just going to flip it over. They put the, uh, I think they put this on the outside, which is nice. But let's see if we can't get this bad boy open. Didn't come with a little uh, Vinyl Me Please sticker. Maybe that was because I got my first order it came with that, but I don't know which side this opens on. So please hold for a moment. And just like that, we're going to open it from the edge. Tear it open, since you need a play-by-play. -play. It's tough to do when you don't have a stand to film with. So I'm going to keep that, but I do just want to open it up for everyone. I'm going to keep the jacket, everything intact as well. That's pretty cool. I didn't get to open the Flaming Lips one because I didn't want it necessarily, so... Ah, this comes with the cocktail ingredients. That should be perfect for listening, <laughs> according to this. Yeah, Mad Max Fury Road. That's a good reference for ugh, such an old album. But let's open her up. There you go. I've never actually seen the inside of a uh, Songs for the Deaf. But... That's pretty cool. Louder, louder. That's good. Here's the actual back. As you can see, old Joshy Davey. Oh boy, I don't even know who the other two are on this album, but this looks like it's just a poster of some sort. I'm not sure what it, what was supposed to be included. A heavyweight. No, it's not the jacket. No, it's just a cut, I guess. So we will open the gatefold back open. We're actually going to pull out disc two first. Because that's what my hand was closer to. And here's your wax. It's actually lighter in the video. To me, it's, it's a little bit darker, but it is translucent. So it's going to be lighter. So the video actually, I feel like, does it better justice. But we're going to... I don't know if the other side... Yeah. I was just listening to this album not too long ago. Oh, we already got some excess wax on the side. And we're just going to take off. Which is pretty cool. Some wax shavings, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what's... Uh, I feel really boring right now, so I apologize. But I do just want to show off everything to everybody. I apologize for the shoddy camera work because I'm by myself. <clears throat> and usually I don't go in this in depth, I guess. I don't know. But, oh, you can see this from through, through here. Forgot Millionaire was even really the first song on this album. Starts out hot. And here's the insert. Is it Nick? Nick and who else? Who is on here? Yeah, Nick Oliveri, Mark Lanigan. Hopefully I'm saying their names right, but 
figured it was Nick. But as usual for Queens of Stone Age, plenty of other musicians. Elaine, he is a usual. Uh, I'm sure some of these other people are. Got to do a little more research on Queens of the Stone Age. I, I thought I knew a lot, but hey. There's a lot to know because they are not uh, a traditional band. Josh likes to keep the door revolving. But, no, this one's pretty cool. So I can't wait to give this a spin. I hope you guys got to grab this. I don't know if it's sold out or what, but enjoy it. All right. Thanks for watching.